Hey everybody, welcome back. All right, so I think let's try and figure out how to get this thing into two covers. <laughs> um, okay, so this is already obviously unattached, um, and I've gone in and kind of cleaned up some of the dirt. Uh, I didn't get it all out, but once I get the um, the sides off, I'll go back and do a better job of that. <clears throat> but as I was um, kind of doing that, I realized, I looked a little closer, I don't know how well you can see, there are little nails um, in here holding on all four sides. And there's a nail here, and there's a nail here, um, and on both sides. So that's good news. My fear was uh, the box would be glued on, which would have been a lot harder um, to work with. I guess it depends on how old it is. <laughs> and this is my first cigar box that I'm um, disassembling. So maybe others are made that way, I'm not sure. But I'm gonna very carefully try and pry this back. Okay, so this label here does need to be cut. So let me grab my X-Acto knife and I will very carefully do some surgery. I don't want to lose that. I was going to hopefully... Okay, let me try this side apart a little bit more. So I grabbed, I what I need is a, a nail. Uh, I mean, a nail. <laughs> a little hammer or something. Um, because this isn't really the best tool. But I thought if I could get underneath... might be able to grab those with pliers. Yeah, there we go. All right, let me grab, what pliers do I have here? Okay, I guess this is it. All right, so whoop, come back. <laughs> All right, so now let me just, one nail. Use the board for some leverage here. Two nails. Okay. That worked better than I expected it to. So let me see if I can kind of do the same over here. It's kind of holding on for dear life here. These are some jewelry pliers. Hopefully I won't hit you guys. <laughs> to try and get up underneath there. If I stab myself, I will try not to curse. <laughs> I can't guarantee that it won't happen. <laughs> okay. I'm sure you're all yelling at me and saying, Tammy, what are you doing? <laughs> There we go. Okay, let me finish cutting this. That's probably my problem now. Let's see. I don't want to rip the label if I can help it. Still got this little nail being stubborn. There we go. 
Okay. Oh, there was another nail. I didn't realize in the middle. All right. So that worked out pretty well. One down, three to go. Um, I'm going to hold these nails off to the side and take them out into the garage to the other to the other trash so I don't accidentally hurt myself, actually. Oh, no wonder. That's why we couldn't see it. It was hiding under there. Okay, so I'm gonna very carefully pull this. There we go. So I wanna keep this. I wanna glue that back down and I'll use it somehow, so. All right, yeah, I'll uh, do those, finish that out, outside. All right, so let's see what we got going on here. We got one in the middle, and one on the end. I might be able to, whoop, yep. Losing my shirt. <laughs> Okay, I might be able to just pry this off if I'm very careful and uh, do it evenly on all sides. Okay, two down. That's cool. Two to go. Okay, so we know that there's one there and one there. I'm guessing there might be also one there. Let's see. Okay, so this needs to come this direction. Whoop. <laughs> okay, guys, this is working a lot better than I expected it to. Um, I'm gonna get rid of this paper. I'll just rip that off there. And then I can clean up the edges and stuff. So this is the piece that held the lid to the base. And I wanted to try and keep as much of this label as I could. Um, so I'll keep working with that and... Um, finish that up. Okay, so nails are coming up from the bottom. So I'm going to put my hand down here. There we go. That's what I should have done the first time. All right, so that was pretty easy. So let me, um, I'm going to go take this. I'm going to clean off my little workspace again. I'm going to clean off the pieces a little bit better, and then I will be back. Hello. Okay, I'm back. Um, so, I was able to get everything um, disassembled. It was pretty easy, actually. Um, the wood is not very good, high quality. Um, it's basically balsa wood, um, so it's not super hard to get the nails out. Actually, I didn't even go downstairs to the garage. It's too hot outside. <laughs> it's really hot today. Um, I just kept working with them with those pliers and I was able to get them out just easily. Um, so I did uh, glue down like this was kind of coming up. So I glued down um, a bunch of the little spots that were kind of having some troubles. Um, I see I did miss this piece so I'll go back and fix that. Um, so as I'm looking through all the pieces here, I'm thinking I like them all. Um, I don't know that I want to use them all in this particular journal. So this will this will be the front, and then this will be the back. And um, I've decided to go ahead and do a Coptic stitch, which will have the spine exposed. Uh, and the reason I chose to do that rather than I had discussed maybe 
doing a fabric kind of thing um, uh, around the spine here. Um, but I can't bear to not see this. I think this is too important to cover up. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do a Coptic stitch. So basically I'll need to obviously cover up this word that says files. Um, and I have some Tim Holtz people. Um, so I'll probably go ahead and do something like that. I'll do a little collage on the front. Um, and then open this up. I kind of want to cover this little edge over here, but I don't really want to cover this really awesomeness right here. So um, I had planned on using some Tim Holtz um, washi tape. Honestly, I don't know if I want to use washi tape on here. I don't know how well it will stand the test of time, especially in this location. This is where you'll be opening and closing the book every time you go to use it. So I'll probably maybe do like some fabric or I'll, I'll figure something out for that. Um, and then this, um, I, I pretty much got this down to where it's not going to pull off super easy anymore. Uh, there's really nothing interesting going on here. So I was kind of thinking um, I might end up covering this back page with one of those uh, old old world stack papers. Actually, I have one in mind that I really like. And then this will be the back side. So um, once I... Uh, I'm not going to finish doing all that today because I want to do the paper and signature prep first and from that I'll have scraps left over um, which I'll want to incorporate into the cover so um, but I'll have that in another video and I'll be using um, matte matte gel medium matte medium gel matte something something like that whatever that's called <laughs> to cover everything um, so that uh, it won't deteriorate anymore all right so then what are we gonna do with these because these are still a lot of awesomeness well um, I know I purchased a Tim Holtz um, book binding kind of kit that was basically like two pieces of ruler that were pretty much this size and it just had two holes drilled down the middle um, with a screw and like a washer um, to use to bind your book with and I thought well that would be kind of cool um, so I'm thinking maybe I'll do something like that uh, the other thought was I could you know use nah, actually I don't like that so I was thinking um, I could make two more this is really neat though I hate to cover this up, so, huh, I don't know what to think. I'm going to hold on to these for another project, um, and yeah, they'll make another appearance at some point in time. All right, so, at this point um, in the journal making process, pretty much what I'm going to do is work on prepping the papers. So um, I think what I'll do is kind of put this on fast forward now and because it's not really overly captivating. <laughs> um, so I'll put on some music and you can kind of see uh, how I go about doing this and um, yeah, uh, I'll see you back at the end.
the papers kind of cut and um, at this point in my journal making I would then put the signatures together um, but I'm kind of thinking I might want to try doing some kind of treatment on the back side of these with some paint so and my arms starting to hurt um, kind of a lot so I think I'm gonna call it a day for today and pick this back up another time but yeah basically at this point I would just start um, organizing my papers um, by size and that kind of makes it easier for me to uh, put the signatures together at the end um, so um, so yeah so that's basically what I'm doing now um, uh, I don't know if you noticed or it doesn't really matter uh, I thought about well I pulled the music one sheet of the music to the side I'll use that for um, tags same with the rest of this I didn't want to use all of this for a signature so I kept some of that aside um, and same with this I used half of this for two sig two pages to be put into signatures um, and oh actually so I'll keep this for um, ephemera and stuff but I will turn this I'll turn this half into um, some signature um, pages for signatures. Um, but then, um, I don't know if you noticed, I was kind of thinking about what to do with these. I considered covering the back side of this. This is just off cuts from, this is messed up printing paper. <laughs> I messed up my printing and instead of throwing the paper away, it makes really good um, backer paper for this uh, little project. So that's what this is. But um, I considered uh, adding some cardstock to the back of this and then folding that and putting that into the book as part of a signature. But then I thought, ooh gosh, that will be an awfully thick uh, page. <laughs> Plus, this isn't probably super easy to write on. Um, either so I, I'll keep these for pockets I'll still use these in here but I'll probably make them as pockets instead um, but yeah so that's kind of there's no magic happening there so <laughs> at this point I'm just kind of ready to put my signatures together but um, I will uh, I'm gonna do a little bit of experimenting with some paints and um, dyes or inks and stuff and kind of see what I can do with the backs of those scrapbook papers because I don't want to um, coffee dye them necessarily because then they'll be um, even thicker and more difficult to work with um, but if I can if I can make them not white on the back and still uh, so really usable, then that's what I'd like to do. Okay, I need to stop doing this and trying to talk at the same time because it's not working. Um, all right, so um, I guess that's it for this video, and I will see you all again very soon.